I'm Pro Saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. And in this week's lesson, we're going to go into three levels of phrasing. We're going to take a very simple melody, which is so amazing, as played by uh, Gerald Albright. And I'm going to show you how you can layer up your phrasing devices to really bring the emotion and the human singing-like quality of that melody out. And you can apply these principles to all the songs that you want to play. So, first of all, let's check out level one. Okay, level one is actually no articulation, no adornments, no nothing. Now, why is that important? You'd think level one would actually have something in it. Well, the first level is getting rid of all the nasty, habitual, well, potentially nasty, um, habitual phrasing that you bring to the table. So, level one is actually cleaning the slate of all vibrato, bends, scoops, um, inflections, all these uh, grace notes, uh, you know, fall-offs, all these type things that you might be doing that you don't even know you're doing, we're going to clear them all out. So the only way that you can see if you're doing this, and this is in my forthcoming Phrase Like a Pro course, is to do a reset, record yourself playing the melody, and see if you're adding anything. And if you're not adding anything, it should be very plain, and it will sound very cold, not much feeling in it, and it'll be something like this. As you can see, super simple, but just make sure that you're playing the notes in time, which is the big one. <laughs> you got to play with rhythm and you got to try and play in tune with a nice sign, but without any vibrato or any adornments. That is step one. Hey, first of all, there's a great PDF to go with this showing you all the different uh, levels. You can see that linked below. And also, if you're watching this at the time it comes out, I've got an awesome, awesome Black Friday deal going. It's open today and Cyber Monday, where you can get a great deal to join the Inner Circle membership. It's a deal of a lifetime. So go and check the link in the description. Um, if you've missed it, then <laughs> no problem. Still join the Inner Membership anyway, because it's always a good deal. Okay, let's now get back to the plot and look at what happens in step two. Okay, for step two, we're going to add accents, slurs, and the longs and shorts. So we're going to do the basic note lengths and which notes are joined together and which notes are tongued. And there's a couple of little uh, additional accents in there as well. Step two doesn't sound drastically different from step one, but now we're starting to add these little bits of detail, a few longs and shorts, which are very important. Sounds like this. Okay, so you can see things are starting to happen here, particularly more towards the, the, that last phrase where you've got... Du, 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 du. You see, I can't even sing it without bends. It's so difficult to do it like that, but you've got to build up the, uh, the basics, the fundamentals first before you add the fancy stuff. That's why step one is so important. Okay, that's the second level of phrasing. Let's now add all the stuff which is going to take you to the final level. Okay, here it is, level three. This is where all the sexy stuff gets added. We've got vibrato, grace notes. We've got scoops, we've got dynamics. We've got different um, turns and uh, embellishment notes. And even at the end, we've got a half-tongued note. The, the uh, penultimate note is half-tongued. So this is where you're gonna bring all that human emotion and singing-like quality that makes people swoon at the saxophone. But if you haven't got that firm foundation, you're building your house on quicksand. It's not going to work. You're going to sound, you might have a nasty little bends and scoops which aren't done the right way and it might not sound very good. That is the biggest difference between hobby players and pros. You've got to set the stage first with solid notes with no scoops and bends and nothing and then add it on top. Don't make it a habit that you can't control. Here is what level three sounds like. Okay, that is the finished product with all those extra little things. And by the way, inside the inner circle, every week you get a bonus YouTube video 
and you get an inspirational solo of the month. And I am continuously breaking down phrasing, showing you these details, showing you how to bring that music alive so that it's really gonna touch your audience and you're gonna sound super pro. So the inner circle is the place to do that. Okay, folks, that's all we've got time for, folks. Remember, if you're watching this on Sunday or Monday when it comes out, you can go and grab that insane Black Friday deal for the Inner Circle. You can get your PDF using the link that you can see there. And if you have bought me a coffee, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Every drop of caffeine is totally appreciated indeed. All right, until next week, where I'll be bringing you more saxophonic goodness. Make sure you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. Take it easy.